Dr. Z is going to demonstrate single leg hop testing. For this test, Michael will stand on one leg. He will jump and land on the same leg. We test the uninvolved side first, followed by the involved side. In order to pass the test, Michael must jump at least 90% of the distance with the injured leg as he does with the uninjured leg. After completing the first part of the test, Michael will jump and land with the same leg three times. This is a triple hop. If he's able to perform this at 90% of his capacity comparing the involved to uninvolved leg, he will do a triple hop crossover where he jumps on either side of the blue line beneath him. Finally, he will do a six meter single leg hop test for speed. For this test, he will need to complete the single leg six meter hop within 90% of the time, comparing involved to uninvolved. Michael is now demonstrating the single leg rise test. This test is performed with a chair and a bolster. Michael will start at 90 degrees of knee flexion and rise up from the chair. The physical therapist will watch for body mechanics as the patient performs the exercise. When looking directly at the patient, the hip, knee, and ankle should all be in line. If the knee goes inward or outward, this is incorrect. Additionally, the pelvis should be neutral. Mike is now demonstrating the Y balance test. For this test, you should stand with your foot planted on the ground. What you're trying to do is tap your opposite leg in three different planes, making a Y shape. The leg that is planted that you're testing, you wanna make sure that the heel is planted on the ground, and you wanna make sure that you don't lose balance. You're looking for how far you can reach your opposite leg without losing balance. Add up the distance, and you can enter them online, and then compare it to your unaffected limb. Hey guys, I'm Chuck Bocci with Three Dimensional Physical Therapy. We hope that you find the video helpful. Dedication, drive, difference, the 3DPT way.